The Manchester Art Fair is very nearly upon us. So to celebrate this, we're going to be talking to some of the artists involved and exhibiting in this year's fair. Now today we're on an industrial estate in Salford to talk to the street artist Axe. Now you'd have seen his work, he's famous for his murals all over Greater Manchester. They've now got legendary status. So we're going to find out what he's up to and what his involvement is in this year's art fair. Ax, hello mate. Hi Matt. How are you? Yeah, good, thanks, and you? Yeah, really well. Thanks for so much for letting us come down into your studio. No worries. Very exciting to be in here to see where the magic yeah. begins. How did all this come about? Because you're so well known for your murals, aren't you? I mean, I've been drawing since I'm a kid. I believe that I was quite gifted. And uh, in the late 80s, early 90s, I got interested by the hip-hop culture. Yeah. And uh, that's when graffiti naturally appealed to me, and that's when I started doodling and then at some point just uh, get hold of some spray cans and try it on walls. And uh, I started as a graffiti artist. And where was this? Is this back home? Yeah, back home, uh, Paris suburbs in France. So, so when you were starting out in France, yeah. I, I'm assuming this wasn't commissions for war. Were you no. going out undercover at night? So th there were some like isolated spots, you know, where we could go and nobody would bother. Yeah. Uh, so they weren't legal, but they weren't illegal either. Uh, so that's a where grey area. Yeah, uh, but that's when we could practice and, and come up with like large scale murals. And what sort of stuff were you focusing on then? What was so your style? Started painting more characters, so b-boy or anime inspired characters. Oh yeah. Already at the beginning, I was always already interested by the photorealistic style, mm -hmm. uh, but only had a few attempts here and there over the years. And it's really only when I moved to Manchester that really the style that I thought I, I, I would focus on. More and more Manchester is becoming known as a city with great street art. How do you think the scene is within Manchester? We've got a lot of talent and different styles and I think the Northern Quarter over the last few years has, has really uh, boosted the the street art culture, thanks to the outhouse project, which uh, ran uh, the Stevenson Square uh, blocks. Artists would paint there on a rotation basis, like the artwork would stay maybe three, four months, and then another painting would uh, appear. Uh, so it was a great platform for artists to display their, their artwork and, and be seen because the footwork is, is immense. Uh, and do you think that's where a lot of people started to really know who you were, the name Axe? Before that, there was a big festival in Manchester. It was called Eurocultured. I remember. And they were inviting like very really big artists from all over um, Europe. And then when it stopped, uh, that's when I got contacted by some people who were running the outhouse. And I painted my first portrait there. And I think that's when people started knowing what I was doing. And, and as you said, you called it a platform. And I think from what I see of your work, there's a lot of social a political comment? Not always, but it, it has evolved in that direction mm -hmm. uh, over the last few years. With time, I started painting things with a more um, social aspect. Certain event happens and you just feel like it's the right thing to do. Check this. Matt White. They've named a paint after me. People know you for Marcus Rashford mm -hmm. for Ian Curtis. How do you choose your subjects? More a hero to me or yeah. something I admire, whether it's an actor, a musician, or someone who has done uh, great things. What's been some of your favorites? The one I really enjoyed was the Peaky Blinders mural I've done um, in Birmingham, because yeah. I was involved in the full uh, campaign. The one that uh, really means something to me is the, the mural of my, my two boys. Yeah, and that's a personal project. Probably I would say they are my favourite just because they mean so much to me. The Manchester Art Fair is coming up very soon. Yep. You're involved with that this year. Just uh, tell us a bit about what you're going to be doing for them. It will be a, a print of my latest Ian Curtis mural. I've, I've just uh, re repainted. The Ian Curtis mural is based on an original photograph by Philip Carley. And now people will go and see it, they'll take photos of it, they'll post it on their social media, but now yeah. they can own their own print. That's correct. Yeah. Is it a charity that you've chosen? Uh, yeah, so uh, because the original mural was painted for Shout, the mental health tech servicing charity, that's why uh, we thought it was the right charity to, to support uh, in this instance. Great. Well, listen, I very much look forward to seeing the print. Thanks for letting us in. 
It feels like we've gone a little bit behind the scenes. <laughs> Very excited. Great to meet you. Yeah, nice to meet you. Nice one, Axe. Thanks, man. Thank you. So just as the man says, if you want to get yourself an Ian Curtis print, make sure you're at Manchester Central for the Manchester Outfair, the 17th to the 19th of November. I will see you there.